All right, so this is going to be part three of our infinite sequence practice, okay? So we have our first problem up on the board here. We want to find the formula for a sub n for this infinite sequence right here. We have one half, negative four thirds, nine fourths, negative 16 fifths, 25 sixths, and it goes on and on. So first thing we notice here, we have a negative on the even terms, okay? Which means that we'll start off with our a sub n equal to negative 1 to the n minus 1. Okay? Because if, if it was just on the odd terms, we would have negative 1 to the n here, right? We've went over that before. Okay? Now, what is next? Well, we can at least see that the denominator is just going to be n plus 1. Okay? We know that because, I mean, this is the first term, and it's got two, you know, as a denominator of two, then it goes up to three on our second term. So, you know, we see that it's going to be n plus one. But this top, well, what about, what, what, what's that going to be? You can see that this is, you know, you, you can kind of draw the connection that this is one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared. And this is our first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. So... This is actually just going to be n squared. So this is actually just going to end up being our answer. We're not going to be able to simplify this at all. All right, this is the only thing that we have a you know a power to the um, that has n in it. So we're not going to be able to um, end up simplifying this at all. So this is going to be our answer here. All right. So we just you know all we did we broke it down into different pieces. First we had to deal with that negative, so we got that out of the way. And then we dealt with that denominator because it looked a little easier. And then we just figured out what the numerator was, all right? And, uh, you know, that did it. So we have our next problem up on the board here. We need to find the formula for a sub n of our infinite sequence here that starts off negative 3 to negative 4 thirds, 8 ninths, negative 16, 20 sevenths, and so on. So... First, let's take care of that negative. We see we have a negative in every other term. Again, this being in the odd terms. So what we can do is say that a sub n equals, we'll have a negative one to the n. Okay, we don't need to subtract one or add one or anything like that here because these are in the odd terms. Now, next, we, we can't really see too much from, from this negative three and two here, but when it starts to break up into a fraction, you can kind of see a lot more of what's happening. Okay, so I would focus more on this part. You see that the numerator is going from four to eight to 16, which shows you that it's basically two raised to a power, right? So over here, you can have two to the n something, okay? Now, think about it here. So we must have a one in the, in the denominator here, okay, because this would be two to the first power, this is two to the second power, two to the third, two to the fourth. So if this, if this, let's say this, uh, this third term here is two to the second in the numerator, okay, we'll write a little two to the second up there, okay. Well, that is just n minus one, right? Because this is actually just the third term, so if we make this n minus one, that, that will give us two to the second power. Okay, now we also have to deal with the denominator, which is three to powers, okay? So three to the n, and there's another something that happens here, okay? Well, if this, this is three to the first, this is three to the second. So for this term, we have three to the first, and this is the third term. So that means that to get to the first, well, this n is gonna be three, so we'd have to subtract two, okay? So now we have our completed formula, except now we have to just simplify it, okay? You see that we have powers with n's and then we're gonna be able to combine these here and then simplify this down, okay? So if we want to do that, we gotta pull this apart, okay? Let's try to just get everything with an n minus one exponent, okay? So that means that for our negative one here, we're gonna have a negative one to the n minus one times a negative one to the first power. Okay, you don't, you know, of course you don't have to write first power, but it might help you a little bit to see what's going on. Okay, we also in the numerator have a two to the n minus one. Cool, 
And in the denominator, if we make this a 3 to the n minus 1, well then what do we need to make this n minus 2? Well, we just need a 3 to the negative 1. So now we can just combine those n minus 1 exponents to get a, well it's going to be a negative 1 times 2, that's a negative 2 over, going to be over 3 here. So we get a negative 2 over 3 to the n minus 1. And what's left, we have a negative 1 here. And that 3 is going to get pushed up to the numerator because it's to the negative 1 power. So we're going to end up with a negative 3 out front. Of course, you know, when we have something like this, we probably want to pull it out front uh, of the, the negative 2 thirds to the n minus 1. So we can just rewrite this as negative 3 to the negative, or times negative 2 over 3 to the n minus 1. That looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so there you go. That's your formula, okay? So just try to take care of one thing at a time. If you do end up with a infinite sequence like this, I would just try to look at, you know, the fractional part. Okay, when it gets broken up into fractions, you can more easily see what's happening to the numerator and what's happening to the denominator. Here from negative three to, to two, we don't really know exactly what's happening, but here it's a lot more clear. clear. Okay, so that is gonna do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for sequences, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!